Here we are outside number 47, Dupes Close. A well presented three bedroom semi detached property in this popular cul de sac, not far from the centre of Exminster. Just want to show you the sort of street scene here. So we're right at the end of the cul de sac there. You can walk through there through to the town, up to the centre of the village. Some on street parking as well. We're parking on the driveway and a garage here. So the entrance is through that gate there on the right hand side. And we'll go through there now and show you around. So we've just come through the gate there on the left. That takes us into a sort of side of the property where the owners have put a conservatory on the back. And we walk in through that door there into the conservatory, which is at the rear of the property. So good sized conservatory. Current owners use it as a dining room, as you can see. Views out over the garden, wood effect flooring and French doors onto the garden itself. Also a sort of utility space there with the use of a fridge freezer and a washing machine. And then we have sort of the front door, the original front door to the house on my left. Just bring you back round, you'll be able to kind of see where we've just come in. That's it. Window there is into the kitchen. This is like a mixture between a utility room and a dining, a very useful room actually. Anyway, we're going to go through the front door now and have a look around the rest of the property. So I've just come through the front door now into an entrance lobby. Stairs lead up there to the right. And the kitchen's there in front of me. We're going to look at that first. There's a bifold doors to the kitchen. Nice solid wood flooring running through this space. Uh, wood effect kitchen with laminate worktops sitting under the window there looking out onto the cul-de-sac. Gas hob. Oven with a microwave above there. Space and a room for a fridge there. So a neat kitchen, very modern. Obviously the current owners use the dining room outside. That's the conservatory out there. Boilers up on the wall, Worcester boiler. So back across the hallway, radio to cover on the right, you notice. There's a really good sized reception room. So it could be a reception diner. There's only room for a dining room table at the end. Uh, the current owners are not using it for that purpose, but you've got French doors out onto the garden. You go out there later on, have a brief look. Big kind of alcove under there with the current owners have got for shelving. And another little understairs cupboard there. That's the front room, front reception room. Now we can go upstairs and show you the bedrooms. Just before we go upstairs, I just want to show you the downstairs WC, which is here. So we've got a, assist hidden, a toilet with a hidden cistern, wash hand basin there on the right under the mirror. So useful to have down here. Now we'll go upstairs and have a look at the bedrooms. So I've just come up the stairs now to the first floor landing. So the bedroom doors are all off from the bathroom off this landing. So the master bedroom's here in front of me. So you've got a big set of built-in wardrobe, sliding wardrobe doors there. Large double bed in here, so plenty of room for that. And a window to the front. So this is bedroom number one. Then we go back out to the landing to look at the other bedrooms. Bedroom number two is here on the other side, another double. Again with built-in sliding wardrobe doors. Views out over the garden. Quite nice views from here. I'm just going to show you that briefly. Of course, you're looking out on a sort of wooded area, which is nice and quiet at the back. Lovely in the spring, I'm sure, when the trees come back into bud. That's the garden there. That's bedroom number two. And then here's bedroom number three. Single bedroom, currently being used as an office. Again, a window overlooking the wooded area at the back. But all in good decorative order. And nice carpets as well. So the last thing to show you upstairs before we go is the family bathroom. So family bathroom's here. So recently being fitted out by looks of things. It's got a walk, separate walk-in shower cubicle with a thermostatic mixer off the boiler. Zombie boiler that you saw downstairs. Bath there. WC with hidden cistern and a wall hung or sort of vanity hung uh, wash basin there under the window. So that's uh, a fitted bathroom. So what we can do now before we go, is go outside and have a look at the garden. So I've just come out into the garden now. Uh, this is on a really interesting corner plot. So the garden is deceptively large of this property. So you've got a good patio area here, which is pretty private really, because you've got that woodland 
area which is known as the wilderness, owned by the council and is protected, I understand, from the owner. You then got this uh, very useful um, storage area, graveled area, which the owners have roped off just from their new puppy, I understand. A nice decking area here, for sitting in slightly better weather than this. And then the garden goes on around the corner, as I say, to the back of the house. Down here, there's the French doors which go into the lounge. And then the wooded area is at the back here. That. Be a bit if I come back round here, you get to see the kind of full length of it there, really. So there we have it. Number 47, Dupes Close. Really well presented, three bedroom, semi-detached property on this popular cul-de-sac in Exminster. More details available at www dot west of x dot co dot uk.